I'm not sure what that is, but it's crazy looking. So when this thing was uh, not messed up, I wonder how big of a kooksa you can make with it. It's huge. There's the tree. And that is all wood. That is just crazy looking. I think that is the largest piece of round wood I've ever seen in my entire life. Good morning everybody. So I'm right here by the Etowah River. Um, you can probably see it in the background. And this was a main um, transport for the, uh, <clears throat> the Cherokee Indians, the Creek Indians. Um, they were all, they used the Etowah as a main thoroughfare from, from uh, village to village. Um, the Etowah Indian Mounds are upriver probably about 10 to 15 miles away and back down this way down down the river is the uh, is the uh, Hickory Log site and that is where they built the Walmart on there so this is in between here there was a lot of uh, a lot of native activity and um, as far as fishing goes hunting things like that there are fishing weirs out in the river um, the Etowah is the has more fishing weirs in it than any other river in the southeast. Um, it's huge. There's a lot of fishing weirs. But I um, also wanted to talk a little bit about to, more about the Moon-Eyed people. And I know I told, talked to you guys a little bit about that on, I think, two videos ago. And um, it's an interesting subject. No one really knows a lot about them. Uh, they were said to have come from a Welsh... Uh, prince who came over and then between 1150 and 1200 AD and um, they're just descendants from that Welsh prince and the people that he brought with him over to America before DeSoto before Columbus so that's kind of a, one of the uh, theories behind why there were white people um, with blue eyes and had beards but some of the Cherokee had beards, so it's kind of a it's kind of an up in the air thing because no one really knows where these people are, who these people were. They're just sort of a mystery um, in southeastern legend. Um, they just came out of nowhere, I guess. But um, there's no there's been no artifacts other than the uh, some Mississippian artifacts, some uh, Cherokee artifacts that depict these moon-eyed people. And they sort of look like uh, a cross between an, maybe like a barred owl and an alien, which is kind of weird. And I'm not bringing in aliens. We're not, we're not doing the ancient aliens thing here. But um, I think it's kind of wild that uh, they kind of look like owls in their carvings. But um, it's just really, uh, they're just a mysterious people. And on Fort Mountain, there's a huge wall. Um, to me, it looks like a uh, snake effigy, but archaeologists say it's a wall. I don't know why you would build a wall that, that did this number right here, you know, like a snake, but I guess that could be for defensive purposes or whatever. But um, the Cherokee deny building it, and the Creek deny building it, so it was before both of those. Um, it could have been Mississippian, but a lot of the uh, a lot of the tales, a lot of the legends say that it was a wall built by the Moon-eyed people. So um, I think that that's kind of a mysterious thing that they have this structure that was supposedly built by a mysterious peoples, and um, no one really knows much about them. So I think that. 
since I can't really find any information on them and uh, Halloween's coming up, I think I want to do, I want to write my own Moon-Eyed People myth and uh, I think that that's going to be a Halloween night. Um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that and then on Halloween night I'm going to release it and see what you guys think. And uh, I think that would be a pretty neat thing to do for Halloween. Since it's coming up in about a month, I think that would be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty Halloween-y thing to do. So, um, this is a really beautiful river. And, um, it's just, it's amazing just to listen to it for a while. And just to be out here in nature and, um, I think I'm going to continue my day out here and look for some artifacts. If I find any, I'll turn the camera back on and show you guys. But uh, I think I'm going to head back on down the trail and get going. So you guys have an amazing day. And if I find anything else more about the Moon-Eyed people or the Welsh descendants of the uh, Prince, I think it was Prince Maddock was his name, um, I will definitely get back with you guys on that. As far as I know, that's as, that's as much as I know on the Moon-Eye people right now. So, you guys have a great day, and we will see you on the next video. And get out in nature today. Go sit by a river like me, because it's awesome. And um, take it easy.